So I, I want to focus on the forwards, but most specifically, I want to talk about our centers. And as you can see, it's not the most impressive line. We lost our best center, which was Jean Gabriel Pajot. He was traded at the deadline. Uh, we used that pick to to draft um, Ridley Gray. Don't really know much about him. I, I've heard he's a decent player in the Western Hockey League, pointy game guy. You know, we'll see how he pans out. He, he's probably three years away from being NHL ready, but. I guess down the line, maybe he could be a decent third-line player. Uh, so I guess the, you know, the, the return wasn't that bad. But when you look at this lineup, our number one guy is Chris Tierney. Last year, Tierney had 37 points. Most teams would have Tierney as a fourth-line center, and here we have him as a number one center. But unfortunately, that's the best we have. Uh, you've brought in Galchenyuk, who's... A decent talent, kind of inconsistent, but he was a good signing anyways. And, you know, on a good night, he could probably be a decent number two center. You know, he's a former 30-goal scorer, former third overall draft pick. So, Gelchaniak, yeah, you know what, we're a 56-game season. He might put up 30 points if we're lucky. Um, Colin White's an interesting one because, of course, there was all this hype surrounding him. But last season, he really didn't do that well. Uh, he only got something like, what was it, 23 points over about 60 games. In fact, Colin White and Galchenyuk put up practically identical numbers. So they're both kind of fighting it out for the second spot. But in reality, both of them are kind of like third or fourth liners. And uh, we just brought in Derek Stepan, traded the second round pick. I, I sort of questioned that move, uh, trading a second round pick to get Stepan, who's 30 years old. And at this stage in his career, he's basically a fourth line center. I... Quite frankly, I just didn't see the point of it. Um, but, you know, I guess he's got that veteran presence. And, you know, he does have some talent. And he could put up a maybe, I guess, 25 points over a full season. And I would probably put Stepan ahead of a guy like Artem Anisimov, who at this stage might end up just getting traded. Because, honestly, he's 32 years old. He doesn't really bring anything to the table. I mean, the Senators can get a sixth-round pick for him. Why not? Uh, the two most interesting players here, though, are Josh Norris and Logan Brown. Norris played really well, uh, was a point game player in the AHL, and he's ready to step in. I mean, the Senators really need to give him a full-time role in the NHL next season. And I think he could potentially challenge for a Calder. I, you know, he, I don't think he's going to win. He's not better than Alexis Lafreniere. Uh, he's not better than, sorry, Alexis Lafreniere. But... You know what, because of his experience, his age, yeah, he, over the course of a full season, he might get you 30 points, and he might really surprise you. Uh, Logan Brown is another player. He was another point-a-game player in the AHL. Very good prospect. He's had problems with injuries, which has really kind of slowed his development. But I actually think Logan Brown has a higher ceiling than Josh Norris. I think in the long run, Josh Norris develops into a very good third-line center, who can maybe get you 40 points a season. Logan Brown, I could see him maybe as a second-line center who can get you 50 points a season. But that's assuming he can get over the injury bug, which, unfortunately, I'm not really sure about at this point. So that leaves us with guys like uh, Matthew Pekka, a guy that I think a lot of people have forgotten about, probably going to spend a lot of time on the bench, and also Cedric Peckett, another guy brought in from the Tampa Bay Lightning. You know, another kind of extra forward, I guess. They just like the idea of having depth guys but that's pretty much it so i would rate the centers well at this point it's a d because when you have chris tierney as your number one guy it's not very good now there is a possibility that they take tim stutzla and they put him at center i've got him on the wing just because it feels like we have less depth and i think as a rookie it kind of makes more sense there's, i think there's less responsibility to put stutzla at left wing but they could play him at center. I think in the long term, that's that's the plan, is to have him at center. And you could have a line of uh, Tim Stutzla at center between uh, Brady Kachuk and, let's say, Drake Batherson. And that could be a pretty good line, but that's still maybe two years away. 